All right, so welcome everybody to Pure Audio Video's first webinar. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm going to give a quick intro to Becca. She's gonna give us about a 15 minute presentation. And then I would encourage us to ask questions. The only bad questions are no questions. <laughs> so a little bit about Becca, as you know from, from the bio that we sent out, what I think is really interesting here is that she has a unique vantage point having worked for both Lutron and Ketra. So not only does she understand how Lutron works from the technology standpoint, but she has that perspective of what Ketra brings to the table and how both of them can <clears throat> create a seamless, intelligent, uh, dynamic experience. And with that being said, I will hand it over to Becca. Perfect. Thank you so much, Gustavo, for the introduction. Uh, thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to want to come and see our Ketra headquarters down in Austin. Um, a few housekeeping things. I'm going to share my screen really quickly that you're going to see here. As much as I love seeing everyone's beautiful faces on um, our webinar here, I'm actually going to request that we turn off our videos. So I'm going to do that at the end of this. Um, actually, I can, I'm going to shut stop my video right now. But a few cute housekeeping items. Um, like Gustavo mentioned, please feel free to ask and any questions throughout this entire presentation. It'll be a long presentation of me just talking, <laughs> if not. But um, really what we want to do to create the best AV experience is turning off your video, um, muting your microphone when you're not talking, uh, setting your view to gallery view so that you see all three of those screens and then hiding non-video participants. So first, how to turn off your video. Um, I see that everyone figured that out, so I don't need to go over this too much. Um, to mute yourself, it's right next to the video button. So you're gonna hit mute and to unmute yourself. And lastly, to enable gallery view, you're going to see the gallery view on the top there. This way you can see all three of the screens. And then if there's um, a way to hide non-video participants, um, it doesn't look like we need to do that. So I'm gonna kind of blow through this. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here. And now what we're doing is we are taking a look at our, our light lab down at our headquarters in Austin, Texas. So what really is considered to be a standard LED color? Um, when you, if you've gone to like Home Depot or Lowe's, um, and I just wanna make sure that everyone's seeing the video screen, correct? Not my presentation anymore? Yes. All right, perfect, thank you, Deb. So when you go to Home Depot or Lowe's to buy an LED bulb, typically what you see is you're given two options. You're given either a warm lamp or a cool lamp. And oftentimes what we consider warm light is 3000 Kelvin. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm shifting my, um, uh, color temperature in the space. You can see it went from that very kind of crisp outdoor looking light and feel to now a more warmer color temperature. 3000 Kelvin is typically what we choose. Oh, hello, Deb. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for joining. Um, typically what we see in a home application is 3000 Kelvin. And the reason why is people don't want it completely too warm, but they still want it a little cooler throughout the day. But the challenge with LEDs that we find is when you dim down an LED is it kind of makes the space feel a little gray. And what happens is with LEDs is that we are trying to, uh, excuse me, when we are looking at traditional LEDs in the 3000 Kelvin, we are only reducing the intensity. And the result is it kind of grays and washes out the space. And it's not really as appealing or something everyone's familiar with. So if we were to kind of warm this space up a little bit, I've now added in a little bit more color. So this is a little bit more warmer color, like a 27,000 Kelvin. And with Ketra's natural dimming, we're restoring the incandescent experience. It feels the most natural to us. And with, with the push of a button, our LEDs change both color temperature and intensity, just like we're accustomed to when dimming down an incandescent lamp with the rotary dimmer. And with Ketra, you get the most authentic incandescent experience because we can precisely control the way we dim an LED because it moves precisely along the black body curve. So as we all know, dimming uh, alone is not just Ketra's story. It really now talks about how we can add dimming to a, 
uh, powerful lighting palette. So we're really now adding in different layers of lighting design so we can create different beautiful layers within the space. So let's dim it down to 2200 Kelvin. And you can see that there's a nice faint glow around the ketrolinears in the entire room. We have dimmed it down a little further and added some more color to this layer, creating a more warmer environment. It serves as an excellent base um, layer in the room, but also grazing the walls. Now I'm gonna add in a second layer. So you can see that we've now added in our catcher down lights. So our catcher down lights serve a dual purpose, both ambient light to fill the room and task lighting for the tables. So think of this as someone's kitchen and this was your kitchen island and you're preparing your meal for dinner. You wanna be able to see what you're doing, but kind of create this atmosphere that you're unwinding from your long work day. And the last layer that we're gonna add is our point sources of our track lighting with catcher, our catcher lamps. So you can see that this layer is drawing attention to the decorative elements within the space. You can see that we're highlighting the planters along the, the wall, our artwork, and accent pieces on the pedestal to really help bring the space and make it more dynamic. And what layering light is doing is it's giving you the ability to use bright light where you want it and enough ambient light to use throughout the entire space. And with Ketra, layering of light can be as intricate and as personal as you want. We're really just not limited to how the home is wired. So this is why it's a great product and solution for a retrofit application or a new construction because we have multiple different light sources and um, purpose built so that you can create the same experience from lamps, linears, and downlights that you see within this space. But like I mentioned before, with Lutron, you know that we are very passionate about dimming. So really, we want to make sure that we're giving you the most reliable, high-quality light. And with every Ketra light source, we have the ability to dim down to 0.1%. So in this space here, it's going to come across the screen that it's a very faint glow. Right now, we're at 1400 Kelvin color temperature, which is very similar to candlelight. So on the screen, it might be a little hard to see, but it's a very faint glow that we're going to be able to use the light within this space on this low setting, but still want to be able to see where you're going. So perfect examples of this is when you're uh, wanting to watch a movie in your home theater, or you get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom or grab a cup of water. This is the light level that you would see. So you're not flipping on a switch and being blinded by the light. It's a very warm, faint glow. So one of the most useful aspects of light is light itself and how it can adapt throughout the day. So what I'm gonna show you is our natural show and we call it our fast show here that we're gonna condense it into 60 seconds. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna take you through kind of a day in a life of what our natural show does over the course of 24 hours a day. So what this natural show is doing is you're gonna see that my sun is coming up over the horizon and we're increasing in color temperature, but also increasing in intensity. And you can see that we're getting brighter. We're also getting a lot cooler within the space. So we're probably at work. It's that mid day and it's that peak blue light. And what this is doing is it's kind of keeping us alert and more productive throughout the day. And you can see that it's creating this environment that's matching the natural light outside. And you can see that we're starting to warm up this space now. Maybe that sun has started to set. We're taking out that cooler color temperature and we're warming it back up. Maybe we're at home having dinner with our families and kind of really unwinding from that day. And like I mentioned before, that if you woke up in the middle of the night to use a cup of water or use the restroom, you can see where you're going, but you're not gonna be blinded by the light. And how we're able to do that is with Ketra's dynamic lighting palette. So you can see here that in order to create this natural light, we have to be able to hit a bunch of different color temperatures. And with Ketra, we have the widest CCT range, correlated color temperature on the market. If you're looking at that wall view, the far left is going to be 10,000 Kelvin. That's kind of very, very blue, almost like the Arctic sky. And then if we move all the way to the right, that's gonna be our warmest color temperature. That's gonna be our 1400 Kelvin. And you can see that it gradually cools up throughout uh, when you're looking at all of our different CCT ranges. But Ketcher gives you a full range of beautiful white light needed really for any type of application that you're looking for. So how we create this white light is often easy, but in order to create beautiful white light, you need to master the control of colors and what white light is composed of. So with 
Ketra, we have red, green, blue, and white that we're all mixing to get all of these supreme colors. And with Ketra's high def palette, you have over 16.7 million different colors within the rainbow that you have the ability to hit and choose from. Um, unless you're an avid sports fan, or maybe you host a lot of breast cancer awareness parties, or you like to entertain, we like to have a little fun with this. And color has a direct impact on how we perceive an experience like paintings, foods, floral arrangements. If you look at the artwork now, you can see that it's this saturated red color on the painting. And it's really now just enhancing and adding different depth and dimension. And you can see on my wall view here is that we've now pointed on those planters different types of colors. Each one of Ketra's lamp sources is digitally addressable so that we can kind of have a little fun and mix and match with a pop of color. And we're doing this with Ketra's high def palette. And being able to kind of precisely control the color in your home is extremely important for homeowners. Some people might not like the ability to have all these fun saturated colors, but some people do. A lot of our homeowners want to be able to kind of show off their fun new toy like of their lighting system that they have in their house to their friends when they're entertaining. So I'm going to shift your gears towards my artwork and my pedestal view here. So white light really is created with a certain recipe of color. And what's amazing with Ketra is we have the ability to change this recipe of color um, from very various decorative elements in your home to be more vivid and rich with color. And we call this solution vibrancy. So we are in the Art Institute of Chicago, and they really wanted to enhance their artwork how the artists perceived it. So maybe they were painting it in Northern Ireland um, outside that the blues and greens popped a little bit more. And they have another piece of artwork that was painted in, in the Mediterranean inside under candlelight. So under candlelight, when you're painting it, the reds and the oranges are going to be a lot more vibrant. So what I'm going to do is if you focus your attention to the art view, this is our high quality white light. And now I'm adding in vibrancy. I'm going to shift back. High quality white light vibrancy. And you can just see the depth and dimension of this painting and how it's really just now coming across the screen. It's really making it pop. If you, if I gear your attention towards the pedestal view, this is our high quality white light, high vibrancy. Those flowers now add a lot more depth and dimension and they have more textured elements that we didn't really see before. That James Terrell book, the pink book, if we're looking at high quality white light, high vibrancy, it now pops across your screen. And what vibrancy has the ability to do is it's affecting the painting how we want it to render. We want that artwork to pop and we want to make it look the way that the artist perceived it. And I was mentioning this before, but this is a local artist in Austin and he calls this the portals of wisdom. And by adding in different color temperatures and our vibrancy feature, we now enhance the different elements on this painting and what he calls multiple portals that wouldn't have been able to see under different lighting and temperature conditions. So now I'm gonna gear your attention more towards shifting into no matter the experience that you choose, Ketra's True Beam Optics really are the most beautiful way to deliver white light across any available beam spread. And with Ketra's True Beam Optics, we have the ability to really focus in on what we're illuminating in that space. With other color tuning or color changing lamps, sometimes you get what's called like the prism around the beam angle and it, it creates kind of a, a rainbow effect along the beam angle. But what Ketra did is we really focused in on these optics to make sure that what we're illuminating creates that perfect white light. So you can see that we have everything from uh, 10 degree all the way up to a 90 degree beam angle. So 10, 25, 40, 60, and 90 degree beam angles. The bigger the beam angle, the more general lighting we're, fo we're looking at. And then we're focusing on a spot when we get into that 10 degree beam angle. But really giving you this uniform uh, light is what ke sets Ketra apart along with our 70 patents. This is a major reason why Ketra is considered such a high quality architectural grade solution. So now we're going to shift your attention back to talking about how Ketra really is an exceptionally unique, unique product. Our lights can transform any space just based on what you're looking for. So this is kind of our fun party scene. And the nice part about this is you can see that we have multiple different layers within the space. You can see that we have that vibrancy feature on the artwork um, to enhance kind of those colors that we have on, this, on the artwork. We kind of have more pink decorative highlighting our 
our cove applications, our planters, we wanted to remain that white light. But now we're tying in the element of our automated shades. With Lutron, we have the ability to be one manufacturer for your entire project. Lighting controls, temperature, shades, and now beautiful lighting fixtures. And we're creating this environment that we're creating a fun environment. Maybe you're hosting a party and you want to kind of have a little intimate setting, but we're adding so many different decorative elements in this space just with our lights and how we're having the ability to kind of play with lights, but also create this fun environment that you're able to host an intimate dinner or maybe at a party with your friends. So now we're going to open the shades back up and I'm gonna switch it back to that 3000 Kelvin. And with Ketra being kind of seamlessly integrated into the Lutron system, we like the ability to have these experiences easy for the end user. So I'm doing this all from the push of a button. My shades are um, raising, you can't hear them in this space. My lights are going to their certain color temperature and that same, uh, that certain dimming level that we're looking for. But looking at the sheer shades, we have the ability to really open this space now and feel like we're connected to the outdoors. However, what you see here is that we kind of have a little bit of a disconnect. So we've returned to kind of where we started at the beginning. And one question that I always like to ask is whether this standard white light experience is good enough. And at Ketra, we don't believe so. We want light to be dynamic. We want to mimic what's going on outside and bring it inside. And with that, I'm going to hit my natural show. And you can feel how different that light feels. It now matches what's going on outside and bringing that natural light inside. And really we're connecting the outdoors and bringing it inside. And that natural show, like, like you saw in the fast show, this will automatically happen over the course of 24 hours. And you can see that with our natural light capabilities, you have one manufacturer to supply the lighting controls, the automated shades, temperature controls, and now a beautiful light source. And you have Lutron's high quality and brand reputation that you know it's just gonna work. This is the right light for our space at the right time of day. And this is truly beautiful light. And this is what Ketrit is all about. So with that, I am uh, done talking, but are there any questions? Now that I've kind of gone through our whole Ketra spiel, hope you enjoyed the tour. Thank you, Becca. That was great. Uh, can you go over how this is, how these are wired, or what what the what the products are like? That's a great question. So our products um, are powered, just like your normal fixture, and then they communicate wirelessly. So traditionally, we're used to hardwiring back to a dimming panel. But with Ketra, everything is digital. Everything is integrated into the actual lamp that you don't need those uh, dimming panels in the electrical closet anymore. All you're doing is just providing power to that fixture. But since these are LEDs, you can have a lot of fixtures on a circuit. Typically, we see that people can load up to 80 fixtures on a circuit. If you think about a house, um, I worked on a project in uh, Texas where it was a 6,000 square foot house and they had eight electrical circuits throughout the entire house. Think of the cost savings on that. So that was a great question, Deb, is um, they're just wired however you want them to because everything is digitally controlled and programmed. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Becca, that was phenomenal. So I'm curious to know, like when you're working with designers and integrators like myself, what, what do you think we're missing when we're trying to design a Ketra system that we should know? Like, is it, are we limiting the way we're thinking about it imaginatively? Should we be thinking about it more like an artist? Because what struck me is how the wall view there, I mean, that, that was like five different rooms in one room, which you, you just can't do normally without redecorating every time. Yes, and that's where kind of the sky's the limit is you can really design the place however you want is you can focus on um, the different decorative elements within this space and it really doesn't matter you can program it however you want it just depends on what you're looking for so a lot of times we say is um, what do you do every day in this space like is it your office where you know you're going to be working or you're going to have that natural show that just continues to go on is catcher going to be installed maybe in 
your kitchen or your living room where you know you host a lot of dinner parties. So you want to have those fun scenes, but you can really customize it and then engrave it on those Lutron keypads to whatever scene you're looking for. But the nice part about it is, is that you have that app as well that you can kind of play around with. Um, and you've got the color wheel, the vibrancy feature that if it wasn't programmed ahead of time, you can still have the ability to change it yourself. So kind of the sky's the limit in terms of being able to um, customize it how you want. Typically what we see is you're gonna have your natural show energized for maybe you're working late at night. You've got your relaxed scene with your family. Maybe you're trying to unwind from the day. You have all off. It really just depends on what you're looking for. But that's the nice part about Ketra is it's not this one size fits all. Previously as a specifier, you'd have to specify this button is going to do this and dim to this level. And you couldn't change any color temperature. And kind of like what we saw before is when you dim that fixture down, it grays the space out. With Ketra, you don't have that anymore. You can now make it customized and feel the way that you want it to. Can you talk to us about how individually addressable fixtures will help us to design residential um, environments? Absolutely. So typically with um, what we're traditionally used to with tunable white fixtures, Zero, they're powered what are, what's called and controlled by zero to 10 volt. And you have to wire them the exact same way you want them controlled. And what happens is if they're wired incorrectly and you wanted them controlled a different way, you're stuck with the way that they're wired. So now that we have a digitally controlled system like Ketra, it's a flexible system that you saw in my um, scenario of layering light. We can now play with different avenues of how do you want that space to look like? And wiring really doesn't matter to us because it's all digitally controlled. In, in the past, you had to wire it the exact way you wanted it controlled. Maybe you wired it that the coves were on one circuit, you had your down lights on another circuit, you had your track on another circuit. And then in order to integrate and program together, it's just a lot more complicated. So now that everything is digitally controlled, it's easy to program for the installer. And then it's extremely easy um, and intuitive to kind of change and work with your lifestyle. We want this to be a system that works with your everyday life and doesn't kind of prohibit it like some traditional wired systems do. Okay, we don't design with zones. We, do, we can design, um, I'm sorry, we can change our furniture around and, and it can be very instantaneous, right? Exactly. I mean, look, a lot of us are home right now and we're probably getting stir crazy that maybe we've taken on a few home improvement projects. But what happens is that maybe to your point, you're moving your bed around and your bed's not located under that one down light that was there. So you have the ability of making it flexible to um, accompany what that space is doing. So if you're moving the furniture around, all right, let's just tweak the lighting there. No need to rewire or anything. You can zone and mix and match how you want within the space. So it really gives the specifier, the designer, the flexibility and gives them the design capabilities again. Of what do you want that space to look like? Perfect. Thank you. Now, can we go over form factors? Would that be helpful, Gustavo? Absolutely. Wonderful. So, um, Abby, do you have um, some lamps there that we can show? So what I um, showed in this space before is we have Ketra down lights. Those are great for new construction projects that you're working on. We also have uh, retrofit lamps available as well. Abby, are you turning on your video to show that? I believe she might have stepped out of the room, but either way, so we have retrofit lamps. So we've got a PAR 30 lamp and a PAR 38 lamp. Those can fit in your traditional four inch, uh, five inch and six inch can housings. And then also we have um, linears. So you can see that that's illuminating my cove there. So we have what are we call our G2 linears. We also have more uh, commercial grade fixtures, which we call our office linear portfolios. So we've got a recessed lighting linear. We've got um, a pendant indirect lighting that we can hit and uh, multiple different form factors. The main one residentially that we're gonna see is our new construction downlight. It comes in a round, square, multiple different um, options, mud in, flanged. Um, Deb, I saw that you commented in there about the Ketra website. You can see that we have so many different products to fit what you're looking on, uh, looking for. We also do have what we call an A20 lamp. That is great for like a table lamp or 
um, a decorative wall sconce. And that's something to really focus in on is that with Ketra, you can have every light source be Ketra. You can have the down lights in the space be Ketra, but you can use other decorative fixtures um, within the space and then integrate our A20 lamp, which has an EU26 base socket, which is your typical medium traditional socket, or a GU24 base socket. Those are gonna be kind of like the Frankenstein looking little pins. Um, so just depending on what you're looking for, we also do make our own track head. Um, that's very popular in like art galleries. If one of your homeowners has their own art gallery that they like to show off their art collection. And you can always go and look at the website that um, uh, Deb sent into the chat. I have one, one more question that I'm interested in. We have a couple of clients who are doctors and they have shown like a sensitivity to, um, they don't like really bright, high Kelvin temperature lighting. So if we were to propose Ketra to them or just anybody who's, you know, the, those operating table lights are really bright, they look at them all day, um, they don't wanna feel that or see that at home. So how do we still get the benefits of natural lighting for them when, you know, midday, they're not going to want to see that, that high intensity light? So what we often find in hospitals or um, like healthcare facilities is that it's a very sterile blue light. We're talking like 4,500 Kelvin and above. Um, oftentimes it's like 5,500 Kelvin and that's a very, very blue light. But to your point, when they get home in their home, uh, they want to feel comfortable. So with Ketra, like I mentioned before, is our CCT range is 1400 Kelvin, which is very similar to candlelight, all the way to 10,000 Kelvin. So what we can do is we can customize that natural show that, yes, we're mimicking the sun, but we would cap it off at maybe a 3000 Kelvin or a 3500 Kelvin. That it's not going to feel kind of like that, that sterile blue that they're traditionally used to in like the hospital or the healthcare building. We can make sure that it's customized to what they want. Or a lot of times um, we've seen that people just love the relaxed scene. So they just love the ability to have that 3000 Kelvin or that 2700 Kelvin and maintain that the entire day. So really, like I mentioned before, is that catcher is not this one size fits all. You can do anything with it, whether it's that high quality white light that you're looking for, that's never going to fade over the lifetime of the lamp or it's that natural show that the homeowner really wants to be able to mimic the, the sun. Or you have that homeowner that really wants to have the fun saturated colors. So maybe that example of the doctor coming home, they wanna maybe have a little fun saturated colors because they had a long day at work in the office, excuse me, in the hospital. And the last one is that vibrancy feature, enhancing the artwork or maybe those vanities uh, that we were kind of talking about before, being able to really accentuate where are you going and what are you doing that day and make sure that they are getting dressed in the environment that they want to. So there's so many different options, but we can customize that natural show for them so it doesn't feel as sterile. So Barbara was asking uh, if we could use uh, uh, like the touch of a button, what, what that meant. And she was saying, are they light bulbs that can be used in existing fixtures? Yes, so we have what are called um, A20 lamps. So they can just screw into your medium base sockets, maybe your table lamps, your floor lamps. Um, we've got our PAR 30 lamps, which retrofit great into like an existing can in the ceiling. We have PAR 38 lamps that retrofit into um, existing cans. So those are more like geared towards the six inch cans. Um, but we can really retrofit into any existing um, housing or decorative fixture that has that medium base socket, which is EU26, or that GU24 base socket. And all of this is controlled by the Lutron homework system. So from the push of a button, your lights, your shade, everything just magically happens. Great question though. Are there um, any others? Did that uh, answer your question that you had? I think it is just us now. Cool. Um, hi, this is uh, Faye and I have a question to ask. This has been so great. So uh, in addition to working with Gustavo, I'm also a YouTuber. So 
I noticed just a fantastic lighting that some of the, especially the pro YouTubers are using. Uh, I know in general years ago, it was all the YouTubers are really poor. You use whatever lights that you had at home, but gradually I noticed, my goodness, just the effect of uh, what lighting can change. It, the whole thing, your whole channel. And needless to say, there are YouTuber, uh, YouTubers who focus on camera equipments and they, they talk about lighting. So I was wondering, since there's so many independent creators now uh, on YouTube and elsewhere, um, is there an opportunity where content creators can consider using you know, Lutron and Ketra in a really effective way? What are your thoughts there? No, that's a, that's a great application for Ketra. Um, when you're illuminating your face on video, like like I am right now, you wanna make sure that the light is is not shining directly over your head because it creates a shadow. You want it more kind of focused head on so that it, it's really giving you that depth um, that you're gonna be able to see, but it's not so bright. So that's kind of the beauty of Ketra is you could have either a keypad or your app that you can customize and then dim down that fixture if you think it's too bright. So you're almost kind of creating these moods and these scenes, right? For like what you're trying to do. Maybe you're trying to do a video of showcasing what your makeup looks like during the day. Or maybe you're going out for an intimate dinner with your significant other that you kind of want to dim that, that light down, warm it up, create that environment. And then you can showcase how your skin tone renders and looks completely different. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity for the YouTube uh, channels and really being able to mix and match in what they want that to look like, but it's as simple as maybe swapping out a table lamp that they have kind of showing on their face and putting in one of the, our Ketra lamps or our Ketra bulbs into that actual fixture. So mm -hmm. It's a very easy retrofit solution for them that they can now kind of customize it of what do they want that video to come across as for their viewers. So let's just dig into that a little bit more, Becca. So like yeah. for let's say a YouTube content creator, they wanted to add Ketra to their, to their home studio. What are the Besides the bulbs, what else do they need in order to make it work? That's a great question. So you've got the, the Ketra lamps, right? So then you're going to have the Lutron Homeworks portion. So that's going to be your controls. So you have a Lutron Homeworks processor. Then you're going to have a Lutron um, Homeworks Type-X gateway. And then you have your controls. So you can either have something as simple as what this is. This is a little remote Pico. Um, or you could have a hardwired keypad or you could control it from the app on your phone. So it really gives kind of them the flexibility of what do you want that in the space. So there's multiple different controls that they can have, but um, whether it's a hardwired controlled or an RF control, so a wireless control, they would need an RF repeater, kind of it's the mesh network that's controlling the whole system, but it's extremely easy and intuitive to do, but it's really not that hard. So you would kind of just order the parts and pieces through someone like Gustavo and then come and help you program it based on what you want for your subscribers to see. But you can see there was really your lamps, your homeworks portion of the QSX processor, the uh, Type-X gateway, and then your controls. And that's really it. So, I mean, we're not talking an arm and a leg. <laughs> just to get this great lighting experience. That's such a great question. Uh, thank you for answering that, Becca, and for asking that question, Gustavo. Um, I definitely, I run a YouTube channel. I feel like there's, this portion of the video will be really helpful because I get those questions all the time. Uh, but still, I don't think I've always achieved a very optimal lighting on my face or in most of my videos. I, I keep trying. Um, and so this is really great. I must say that one of the demos that you showcase, it was, uh, I believe you called it sort of a, a very colorful, like a party scene. And yeah. I love those effects because, you know, the, I guess the more experienced YouTubers will have those set up in their homes, um, mm -hmm. big or small, where it really creates that mood, that theme, and you just can't help watching those videos. And essentially what YouTubers want. Longer watch time translates to more money. Um, yeah. I, I wonder if those can also be established kind of in the background, kind of the hue lights uh, effect. Absolutely. And that's kind of, it goes back to the whole concept of Ketra is it's this flexible and simple system is that you can now mix and match. And I'm looking at your space there and you've got like great um, stuff on the wall that maybe you wanted to accent um, in this space that you can have maybe some floor lamps or maybe you want to have some spots that are up lighting and mm -hmm. showing those off within the space that you can kind of customize it based on what you're looking for. 
So you can have floor lamps, maybe you're having the light that's showing on your face, but it's all customized and programmed based on how you want it and how, I mean, that video you're filming, maybe it's a video for night or maybe it's a video for the day that you really want to, your face to look like it's daytime. Um, a lot of times we see that you can film these late at night and then just pretend it's during the day by going to a cooler color temperature and then just pretending that you're, you're filming during the day, even though it's late at night. Mm -hmm. so it's really giving you a, a flexible customizer. Mm -hmm. One thing we hadn't talked about too much, you touched on it a few times is, um, is the, uh, how, how that light is affecting us. So like productivity, it affects mm -hmm. us. At night, when we want to um, start relaxing, we need a warmer light. Can we just touch on that again? Absolutely. So our natural show mimics the sun and what's going on outside. Um, as humans, we love the sun. We love being able to be outside. I don't know about you, but anytime I just need a break from working inside, I go outside and I just, I feel better. So that's kind of bringing that natural light inside. And what it's doing is like you saw in that fast show, it's, it's warm in the morning, cool throughout the day to mimic the sun. And then what it does is it takes that, that cooler color temperature out so that it warms back up so that you can kind of unwind from the day. We all have very busy lives right now that everyone wants to feel like they're just kind of uh, after the day ends, after a long work day. And that's what the lighting is doing is that taking out that kind of cooler color temperature we're just now creating that relaxed environment. And that's really what that natural show does. And a lot of our customers and homeowners, they just hit that natural show and it, it runs itself. And then when they're sitting down to watch kind of maybe their late night TV show, it's gonna be that warm color temperature. It's kind of that candlelight feel that they're going to unwind from the day. And that happens automatically. And that's a great question, Deb, is people just wanna get connected outdoors and that's what our natural show does very, very well. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Becca, I have another question. I don't want us yeah. to run over time, which is- No, uh, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, speaking of color temperatures, uh, I'm very new to, to this, mostly because of Gustavo as well. Could you describe or maybe educate me and us a little bit on different color temperatures or colors in general, how that actually affects moods and also maybe perhaps what to avoid when you are feeling tired or what, you know, what to um, expose yourself to when you want to feel energetic. The sunlight is one of them. Um, but I wonder, I hope that question makes sense. <laughs> no, that, that makes complete sense. And our homeowners and specifiers and people that we work with are not lighting experts. So kind of to take it back, um, when we look at LEDs, which is everywhere on the market nowadays, you're kind of given two options. You either get a warm LED or a cool LED. And have you ever installed a cool LED in your house at all before? Uh, I don't, uh, I, I uh, do you mean the white light or uh... like it's a very white light and yeah. I made the mistake of doing this before I worked for Ketra and I installed a cool LED that cool LED if you have it full bright at night it is so blue it is so bright and it is you feel like kind of going back to that hospital page you feel like you're in a sterile environment mm -hmm. and it just it doesn't it's not conducive for what you're what you're trying to do and which is unwind from the day but oftentimes what we happen is that warm color light, that's traditionally like a 2700 Kelvin. That 2700 Kelvin is a little too warm. Like if you're working throughout the day, it, it just, there's a disconnect between kind of what's going on outside the windows and what's going on in your space that it's just too warm. So what we find is that throughout the day, people want that cooler color temperature. They want it to match what's going on outside to kind of keep you more alert and awake and productive. But then after that workday is done, they want it to warm back up. So what you want to avoid is that cooler color temperature. So anything kind of maybe like 3,200, 3,000 Kelvin above, we want to avoid that so that we're taking that cooler color temperature out and we're, we're putting more warm light into our spectrum so that we're kind of like unwinding from the day. And I mean, this just kind of goes back to kind of the caveman principle is that they had they were illuminated by firelight at night. And that's what we're traditionally used to is the, the firelight or that incandescent light source that we all love so well and so much. But what, what happens is that we're, we're stuck with LEDs. They're, here's your one size fits all, you can't do anything. So that's why with this new technology of Ketra, you have that flexibility of in the day, you want it kind of that cooler, more productive, 
white light, and then at night you want it to warm back up. Did that answer your question, Faye? I know that was kind of long-winded answer. Oh, no, that's great. Uh, it's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. And Ketra is really different than um, LED bulbs that promise um, a, a warm dim experience because they are able to do just warm dim to one color temperature. They're not able to give you that range, everything from a very, very white light to very warm light. Similarly, um, uh, other LEDs that say oh, we've got red, green, and blue and white, they aren't able to deliver that 16 million plus colors yeah. and, and all of the combinations of those colors and the vibrancy um, that, that Ketra has. Um, and they have the patents on that technology. So that's, um, it's, it's a really unique experience. And I, I look forward for everybody to actually see this in person, but it was really dynamic virtually as well. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. And the crazy part is, is that everything that I showed you that we went over today, all of that works with all of our products. So whether you're getting those retrofit lamps or those new construction down lights, you're getting everything that Catcher can do. Whether you want just that high quality white light, you want all those 16.7 million different colors that we can hit with our high def palette. You might want that homeowner or that um, client that wants that natural show, like Faye was talking about, just letting nature decide, kind of bringing that natural light inside. Or you have that homeowner that wants that vibrancy feature, because I think we can all agree that our customers are going to spend a lot more money on artwork, their furniture in their space, and their their um, Italian marble in their kitchen than they are on lighting controls and fixtures. But lighting has everything to do with how that million dollar painting is going to render. So I have one final question and going into the art world now. So if we have clients that have an art collection um, and you showed before, like if the painting was done, you know, in the Mediterranean, you have a, you have a preset scene for that versus if it was painted in Ireland, you have a preset scene for that. Can we work with the artists or the galleries to determine you know, where those paintings were made and how the artist wants to see them, maybe in a couple of different ways, and then custom program that in, in people's homes? Absolutely. So you can customize that based on what the artwork is. So I was giving you that example of the Art Institute of Chicago, and this happens with a lot of people's per, um, personal art galleries at home. Um, Deb mentioned, and we talked about this, is that everything is digitally addressable. So maybe that one painting was painted in Northern Ireland that we want just the blues and greens to pop. We can do that. But that separate painting, we want the reds and the oranges to pop. We can do that. But you want your entire space to feel like a warm white light. You don't want it to feel like that vibrant where my skin tone, I mean, maybe I haven't seen the sun in a while because it's the winter, but I've seen too much sun where it's too red. <laughs> so you can now customize that space to be white within the space and then have your artwork that vibrancy feature based on what we're trying to accentuate, the blues and the greens or the reds and the oranges. So you can mix and match and play with it. But the flexibility of it is, is that not everything has to be vibrancy. You can now customize it based on what it is. So maybe that painting just needs a high quality white light. We can check that box. You want it to look blue and make the blues and the greens pop, we can check that box but everything else can maintain that white color temperature within the space. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys taking the time and thank wanting to learn more about Ketra. And I'm very excited. As you can tell, I, I bleed blue. I love Ketra and I love Lutron. So <laughs> drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> thank you so much, Becca, for your expertise. We always appreciate um, your tours and your expertise.